everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos all the time. A whole bunch of new things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, being a mom, all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope you consider subscribing and joining our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. Um, and today I have a, a very random, kind of spastic, chatty get ready with me. I talk about everything. It's just all over the place. I was so excited to sit down and film for you guys again. I feel like I haven't filmed a makeup sit, sit, sit down chatting video with you guys in forever. So I had just like so many thoughts going on in my head. It just kind of all came out. But um, I put on some makeup with you guys. Um, it's, a it's a different look for me. I used some different colors and I think it turned out really pretty. I'm really happy with it. Um... So yeah, let's just hop right into me doing my makeup. Okay, let's dive in. I'm actually going to start with my eyes first. I don't normally start with my eyes, but I want to do something a little bit more slightly colorful. Um, so I pulled out my uh, Naked Urban Decay Wild West palette, um, and I really want to use the like blue tones in here. Um, so I am going to use some of the neutrals too, but I'm going to use blue tones. So I figured I'd do my eyes first and kind of clean up the edges when I'm done. So let's just hop right in. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids first and then powder. So let me just do that really quick. Um, I'm using the Flower Light Illusion Concealer. I'm gonna use it on my face too, but um, it's a good eyeshadow primer. I put a little bit too much on this eye, but that's okay. Um, wow, I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. Like, sat down and filmed, like, a makeup chit-chat sort of video. Um, if you follow my vlogs, you know it's just been a crazy couple months for us. Um, I just... It's been insane. So, um, feels good to sit back down. I'm gonna use the color Spur first and just kind of set that down all over. I think I'm going to combine it actually with standoff because it's a little bit lighter too. So just kind of get both of those um, and just sweep it all over. Set down that concealer I just put down. Um, so yeah, I haven't like sat down and actually like filmed anything like makeup wise or like chatted with you guys in a while. I did just film, um, what did I film recently? Oh, like a new things video, which I'll link up in the corner down below. But I haven't done like makeup in a while. I'm gonna put the shade Nudie in the crease to start. Um, I have like shown you guys my everyday makeup recently. I'll link a couple videos up in the corner down below where I put it on, where I talk about what's in there, all that stuff. Um, because realistically, most days, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing like a five, 10 minute thing in my bathroom. Um, just because, you know, with the baby and stuff, it's just, that's what I have time to do and that way I can get other things done and like makeup, putting on like a full face of makeup hasn't been like my priority lately. Neither has been doing my eyebrows clearly. I need to do them so badly. Um, so, you know, it's been nice though to have that like bag of makeup up in my bathroom where I can like, you know, hop out of the shower after my workout quickly, you know, do my skincare and put on a little bit of makeup, I feel like slightly like a human. So it's been nice. Um, I'm gonna take that same brush actually and go in with Laredo, this kind of like purpley plum sort of light color and put that in the crease as well just to deepen it up, focusing it more on the outside. Um, so yeah, like this is the first time in like, a, I can't even remember, I have to like go back and look at my videos. Um, that I put on like a full face of makeup so it's been good though um like I said we've had a crazy couple months um obviously the baby's just over four months old now if you're new here I had a baby four months ago um and so yeah he's like just over four months now Tahoe is three months out that's my dog Tahoe if you're new here too three months out from his surgery and um issues and stuff and he's doing great we haven't had any issues with him since then um he's been very energetic again and happy and like I said we just haven't had any issues which has been such a relief that was so scary so so nice that he is feeling better and 
um, doing good. So that's like three months out. And then, you know, we hit just like hard phases with newborns, like sleep regression. And now we're transitioning him from four naps to three naps. It's just been a thing. And um, I'm going to take some of whiskey and put it kind of in the outer corner. Um, and then I had some issues with breastfeeding and his like weight and stuff. So it's just been uh, like a rough couple months. And then we did take a trip in there as well. We went back to my hometown in Ohio for my dad's birthday and to see my family, which was so much fun. Um, and he traveled really well, actually. We were very happy with um, how he did. We ended up getting two, two seats and just carrying him, lacking him, which I think that worked out really well for us because he, um, when he is awake, he likes to change positions a lot and like see new things. So it was nice when he got fussy with one of us that the other one could then like grab him from the other person and kind of, um, you know, change his position and it was nice to be able to like pass him back and forth really easily as opposed to trying to like take him in and out of a car seat. Um, he did sleep pretty well in our arms too and mostly in my arms. Um, so that worked too. He ate really well on the plane. He didn't have any issues with like the altitude, his ears popping or anything, but I think that's because we live at a pretty high altitude. We live um, about 5,000 feet already. So I think he's kind of used to it. So um, I think that helped. And um, yeah, in general, he did really well. Um, we're very happy with how it went and um, no complaints. So I think I'm gonna take, let's see. I think I'm actually gonna take the brush in the palette and take some of Tex and put it in the outer corner as well. And just kind of make that a little bit bluey. Just kind of on the lid. I'm not gonna go in my crease too much with this. Just kind of pack it there and then I'll blend it a little bit. Um, but mostly put it on this outer corner sort of situation or outer half, I guess. Um, so yeah, he did really go well. If you wanna like, um, if you want me to make a video about like, you know, what we did to kind of help him on the plane and like what we took and what worked for us and stuff, let me know. Um, I think I probably will do it before our next trip at the end of September, we take a trip. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely be willing to make that video if you guys are curious about it and what worked for us. I did like find a ton of like blogs and you know, other things that like kind of help us prepare. And I think that helped a lot. So yeah, if you're curious about what we did, let me know. Um, I'm gonna use a shade, hold on this gold shimmery shade. I'm gonna put that in the inner half of my lid. Um, but yeah, the traveling with him was great. We're really excited to keep traveling with him. We also recently took him on a road trip, a like day trip basically to um, Breckenridge, which was super fun too. Um, I did a whole vlog on that. He actually went up in the gondolas with us and he he was, did really well in the car and stuff and in restaurants and you know, um, we really tried to semi stick, not like stick to his schedule, but like keep, you know, make sure we were giving his bottles at the same time and he was napping in his stroller and stuff. Um, and I think he did really well. I'm gonna take a bud and put just a little bit on the outer corner to give that outer corner a little shimmer. Just kind of make that pop a little bit more so it doesn't look quite as dull. Um, so yeah, he's a very good traveling baby. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's just like his personality too. Like some of it might be what we're doing. Some of it might be just his personality. But um, yeah, we're very happy with how he's traveling and stuff so far. So we're really excited for our next trip. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is take the color Cowboy Rick and put it right in the center just to give that a little bit of pop and kind of blend those two shimmer sh 
shades together. This is like very different for me, but I am loving it. Usually I don't go for this much color. I'm very like a neutral girl, um, but I think that turned out really cute. I'm just gonna take a little brush and just kind of blend a little bit in the crease right here. All right, and then I'm gonna take, I usually don't use makeup wipes, but I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up the edges or anything, you know. Um, but yeah, besides the, the biggest issue for us was his weight. Um, he had some issues gaining weight there in the beginning. Um, and it was because I had a low milk supply. I was attempting to breastfeed and it just didn't work out for us. And I, I couldn't get my milk supply up enough to maintain, like to help him gain his weight. And it was just a lot of work to pump and feed him. And it was just too much for me. And I, the stress was making my milk supply lower and it was just a whole thing. So we decided to stop breastfeeding and that's just a very personal journey. So I don't want like any comments on it or anything. But, um, yeah, he is doing so much better now on formula, so I'm super happy. Um, I'm gonna prep my face. I know they don't have Becca anymore, but I still have some of the Backlight Priming Filter, and I love it, so I'm gonna use that, uh, first. Um, so yeah, he is a very happy baby. He is eating great. We're working on the sleeping thing. Like I said, he kind of went through a four month sleep regression and now he's in that phase where he's discovered that he can roll over in his sleep. Um, and sometimes he likes that and sometimes he doesn't. So we're gonna ask our pediatrician about it. We have an appointment here coming up in the next few days about whether we can let him sleep on his stomach or not. Um, from everything I've read, it sounds like we can. I just wanna like make sure. You know, oops, sorry. So that's kind of what's happening with him. Um, what else is going on in our lives? We got a new car. It's not really new, it's just new to us. It's actually my dad's old car. Um, he was looking to get rid of it and he offered it to us. And we said, yes, because free car, you know, no car payment. We just had to pay for the maintenance and stuff. Um, so we were very happy about that, except if you saw my last vlog, you saw that um, we had some issues getting it shipped here. So my husband ended up having to fly out to Ohio to get it, which was not ideal, um, but we made it work and really happy to have the car now. It's just really nice to save a little bit of money. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I have the shade... 260N. This is a little bit dark for me all year round, but it works great for the summertime. Um, so, and I love this foundation. I might get it in a lighter color if it's on sale again during the um, Ulta 29 Days of Beauty sale. That's where I originally tried it. You'll see it's just a little bit dark even now. I thought it was tanner than this. Yeah, it's a little bit dark still. Or it's oxidized since I last used it. I don't think so though. Maybe I just was tanner last year when I tried this. Um, I'll lighten it up with some concealer. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's um it's been nice again to have a, a second car. Other than that, we've been actually like pretty boring. We're trying to save up for our trips and stuff. Um again, I'm gonna use that La Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. Um we do have a trip, like I said, planned at the end of September, which I'm really excited about. And then we have another trip at the end of October. So um, that's really exciting. And then we might have some trips planned at the beginning of the year, which I know seems like a really far time away, but we're just trying to like plan ahead and, you know, um, figure out like where we're going to be, when, and... Uh, you know, for my husband to take uh, his leave days and stuff with uh, his work and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, we just try to plan ahead as much as possible. Um, but other than that, like I said, we're just kind of, you know, hanging around, trying to get the baby on a good schedule. 
um, make sure we have enough time to see, you know, all the family and friends who want to see the baby, um, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I just realized I put concealer up over some of my, sorry, I'll add a more. I'm used to putting concealer like up into my corner of my eyes, but there was already a eyeshadow there. Um, but yeah, you know, just kind of living life, trying to get on a schedule and all that kind of stuff. Life with a baby, you know. Um, I'm going to use the Fit Me Loose Pad or Fair Light. Um, I'm still trying to lose some of my weight I gained during pregnancy and stuff, but it's going well. I'm trying not to like put too much pressure on myself. Um, we did kind of change up our eating style, which has been really good for me. I felt a lot less bloated and um, I just feel like all that kind of like water weight and like weight I was holding on to because I wasn't eating as healthy as I probably could have been. Um, it's kind of gone down, which is nice. Um, we're just basically like changing our habits. We're not, I don't like to go on diets and I don't like the word diet really. It just gives me a bad connotation. Um, so I just don't enjoy that. And it's been nice cause my husband's doing it too. It's like lifestyle change. So it makes it easier for me to eat healthier too. Um, because he can kind of eat whatever he wants and like doesn't gain weight because he's, you know, a man. Um, He's just one of those men, you know? Um, for bronzer, I'm going to use the Cover Up X uh, Monochromatic Bronzer in Suntan. I love this bronzer. Um, so, um, so that's been really nice. However, I got my period for the first time since I was pregnant recently. And that is not fun. Forgot how much I do not like my period. Um, I didn't notice like a huge change. I was kind of like reading about, you know, if your period changes after you have a baby. Um, and it says it can. I didn't notice a huge difference in mine. I know this is like TMI. You might not be interested in this at all. But um, maybe you just had a baby too and you still haven't gotten yours back yet. Um, mine didn't change that much. It was a little bit heavier the first like day or two, but honestly, it really wasn't any different from when I before. But um, I did not miss my period for that year and a half ish. A year, uh, it was like 12, 14 months. Um, I did not miss it. Let me tell you. Um, but I've also like been getting breakouts because of it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer on my chest too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been getting some breakouts and kind of see them here. Um, just cause you know, my hormones are trying to rebalance and all that stuff. Um, so you know, it is what it is. Um, I am trying a new skincare product as well, but I don't think that's what's causing me breaking to break out. I really think it's because of my hormones. I'm going to use the mented blush and clay too much. I feel like this video is like all over the place. I'm very sorry. Um, I feel like I have so much on my mind. I just want to like share everything with you guys. It's just coming out in like random spurts. Um, but yeah, I mean, there were like signs my period was coming back. You know what I mean? I got um, really bloated. I, uh, like I said, I had the breakouts. Um, and I just kind of like knew it was coming, but I just like wasn't ready for it to be back quite yet. Um, for highlight, I'm going to kind of mix two highlights. I think I'm going to go in first with the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Because it's a little bit pinky of a color. And I'm going to kind of go over this whole area where I put blush down to. This is such a pretty powder. I actually use this on my wedding day. It's just so pretty. This powder is nice too for my 
skin tone in the summer too because I kind of put it everywhere and it's such a pretty powder it makes your skin look like so perfect um and then I'm also going to use the Ofra highlighter in Rodea Drive um what else what else like I said you know we're just kind of like hanging out this summer we're not doing much just because you know he's only four months old there's not much you can't do this is not the brush I want to use it's not great some of my brushes are upstairs and I just need to bring a couple of them down but um we've been we have a little kiddie pool in our backyard so we've been taking him in that he loves the water he just kind of like lounges there and just like looks around stares at the clouds and it's just really cute. Um, we took up to the pool when I was home in Ohio too. And he really, he just like is a chill baby for the most part, except for the sleep issues we've been having. He's pretty chill. Um, he loves to stick everything in his mouth, which is hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of like the rest of the summer, we don't have really any plans. Um, my mom's coming to visit soon, which will be fun. I think Matt's parents are going to come visit eventually. Um, and like I said, other than that, we're just kind of hanging out, enjoying this first summer with the baby and, you know, just really kind of chilling, which is nice. Um, just really trying to, you know, relax before our next, because our next trip is a really big one and I'm really excited for it. It's just, I think it's going to be a little bit more stressful. So I'm going to do my lower rib eyelash line with the palette again. I think all I'm going to do is take uh, Laredo and pop that underneath my um, lash line. I don't like to go too heavy underneath my lashes, my bottom lash line. So I'm going to take that and just run that. Um, I feel like I'm being shady about our next trip. Our next trip's to Disney, so we're really excited about that. It's going to be his first trip to Disney. We haven't been back in a few years now because we had annual passes when we lived in Georgia and then the pandemic hit and then we moved away and we just haven't been back in a while. I'm also going to take a little bit of whiskey and just go on the like outer corner because I feel like the top is so full that I just need a little bit of something to anchor my bottom lash. But we're really excited going to Disney was something like a big part of my life when I was young so I'm excited to take him there for the first time and like share my experiences with him and the magic of Disney. I'm just really excited. So yeah, I feel like I've been shady about that trip. I don't know why, but um, yeah, really, really excited. He'll be just around seven months old when we go. And I feel like that's just like the perfect age. He'll be, um, you know, curious about things, but he won't be like too mobile yet. So I won't have to like chase him around parks and stuff. Um, while he's trying to like walk and crawl and stuff. Um, but he'll be able to go on like the dark rides and stuff and the spinny rides and it's a small world, stuff like that. Um, and we also have, I think all the grandparents are coming. So um, that means there'll be like at least five other adults who can watch the baby for us. So we can go on, you know, um, the roller coasters, rides he can't go on. Um, maybe go on a date night, hopefully one night, which would be nice. Um, you know, stuff like that. It'll be nice to have like another set of people to watch him. Um, so we can go and have fun at Disney too, because we just love Disney as adults as well. Um, you know, it's just, it's fun. <laughs> I, I think it's fun. Um, I just used the NYX eyebrow powder pencil really quick and I'm going to set my whole face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow. Um, I do kind of wish we were going a little bit when he was a little bit older because um, the barber shop is open again at Disney and I would love for him to get his first haircut there but I just don't think... He's gonna be old enough for having up hair by the time we go to do that. So I'm gonna do something really strange really quick, but my, I'm having some postpartum hair loss and you can kind of see my 
where my foundation stops. So I'm just gonna pop some bronzer in there just to blend it a little bit. Um, that was the other thing I wanna to talk to you guys about. I do have some postpartum hair loss going on. Um, it's not bad, it's just, I had like zero <laughs> hair shedding happening while I was pregnant. And so it's all just happening now and it feels like a lot. I know it's not really a lot, but it feels like all my hair is falling out of my head. I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I don't even know my shade, what shade this is or anything because the whole label is gone. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for Disney. Um, I don't think we're gonna get him a lot of like, like clothes or anything to go to Disney just because, you know, he'll still be so small and he's gonna be outgrowing stuff so quickly that like, I don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money on clothes for him from Disney or for Disney because he won't be able to wear them very long and it just seems like a waste. Um, the one thing I really want to get him is a pair of Mickey ears and get them embroidered or something with the like date um, and like his first trip to Disney or something, you know. I think that's a cute souvenir because you can put it like up on a shelf and, um, you know, get a cute picture in them. But it's not something that like he's going to outgrow and you don't want to display or anything. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous on my lashes. Um... So yeah, really excited. I'm gonna look up some videos for like tips on taking babies to Disney too. Um, Cause like I said, when we traveled to Ohio, I thought that really helped to kind of look up, you know, travel tips with babies and stuff. I felt like more prepared. So if you've been to Disney with a baby and have any tips, let me know, leave me a comment and I will definitely appreciate that. Um, but really excited. The lashes really helped. At first, second there, I was like, I'm looking crazy. Like this eyeshadow look, it looks insane. Just needed some mascara. All right, and then finally for lips, I'm just gonna use like a pink lip liner and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Toffee. And then the lip gloss on top, and then we'll be all done. Oh my god. If I can open it, I close that real tight. Jesus. All right. So that is the final look. I'm really happy with it, actually. I wasn't sure about the eyes, but I wanted to try something different. And I'm really happy with it. I loved how it turned out. Um, actually, the foundation's not too much darker than my, like, like my shoulder. My neck, my face, neck, and chest tend to be a little bit lighter because I put a lot of sunscreen on those compared to my shoulders. But um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this look in this video. If you have any questions for the next time I chat, to chat and get ready with you guys, let me know. Leave me them down below. Uh, let me know what's going on in your life. All that stuff. I just love to hear from you guys. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you join our little adventure, adventure family here. And... Yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.